everyone talking about Paris Edinburgh by Chanel. The notes in this are juniper berries, cypress, lavender, cedar, vetiver, vanilla, and musk. So nice classy mix there and this is bright, fresh, spicy, but the spice is done in a fresh spice type of way still. Uh, and kind of barbershoppy in nature feel, like if a barbershop was in the middle of nature. Uh, it's not overpowering in any kind of like unappealing way, but it is definitely strong enough to have its presence felt. Though I would say for it kind of has pretty low longevity and projection, but in terms of like the scent profile is something that you can really kind of pick up and connect with. Uh, smells high quality, very much, I mean, I think pretty much all Chanel's do, and like a less dated version of a clean, classy, kind of masculine leaning scent to me. When it gets down to the vanilla in the base, it smells kind of like a sophisticated vanilla and not overly gourmandy. It's not like sickly sweet. So yeah, overall, if you're okay with this having, you know, not the most low longevity or projection, but for the scent to be something that does kind of grab people when they smell it, yeah, good mix. Uh, unisex leaning, slightly masculine. Like there's definitely that kind of vibe to it, but it's not so hyper masculine or anything like that. This goes for $140 for a 125 ml, which is a pretty big bottle. Honestly, that's a great deal for Chanel. Some of theirs are like 400 plus and just an all around good scent. So again, as long as you're okay with this not having beast mode or whatever type of you know, projection or longevity, I definitely uh, would recommend checking this out. I will put links in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample.